Welcome. In this segment, we'll be discussing how to use SUNY ESF subscribe databases. Starting in September 2012, SUNY ESF subscribed to a new interface to provide a seamless way of searching SUNY ESF subscribed e-journals and databases. Let's talk about this new interface. Again, this interface took effect in the fall 2012 semester. To get to our new interface for e-journals and databases, you'll want to visit the Moon Library website, www.esf.edu slash moonlib. This is what you'll see when you get to the Moon Library website. There'll be two options. You can search our local catalog, and the next tab is where you're going to want to be, the e-journal tab. From that e-journal page, you can click on that link for the e-journal locator. This is a screen capture of what you'll see. It's important to note that we're constantly updating this site with new e-journals and new databases, so this page will change as we make improvements to our service to you. When you're on campus, your access to our e-journals and our databases is going to be seamless. However, when you're off campus, you need to log on via our new proxy server. From off campus, when you go to the Moon Library homepage and you go to that e-journal link and you go to actually choose an e-journal or a database, you'll be prompted for your proxy information. And that's just your net ID as your username. And then your password is the first nine digits off your SUNY ESF ID card. These are some of the features from our new interface. So from our new databases page, you can search in a particular database search for specific journals, browse for specific journals, and you can retrieve citations, abstract, and the full text. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this interface looks like live. We're going to go ahead and go onto the internet and actually look at the Moon Library homepage and go into our new e-journal database interface. Again, I'm going to esf.edu slash moonlib. When I get to the Moon Library homepage, there'll be two options, catalog and e-journals. I'm going to want to click on the e-journals tab and click on that link to get me to that page to access e-journals and databases. Let's go ahead and show you what that page looks like live. I'm going to click on e-journals and let me zoom in so you can see that a little bit better. So right when I click on e-journals it will tell me that I'm going to go into the full text e electronic journal locator. Go ahead and click on that. And it's going to open up our new interface. And again, this is what our new interface looks like. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can get a better overview of what that page looks like. So on this page, I've got several options. From the top, it says I can find e-journals by title or ISSN which is the international um, serial number. It's the, it's the number that relates to the serial or the journal. So let's go ahead and zoom in closer to that. And so again, right up at the top, I can say title begins with, and I can type in the name of a journal. So if there's a journal that I've been asked to use that um, my faculty or my TA has recommended, or it's a journal that I've used before in other interfaces with ESF, I can go ahead into the new interface and type in a name of a journal. We're going to type in, oops, the Journal of uh, Wildlife Management. So again, this is a particular journal that I'm interested in. I click search, and it will tell me in our databases what kind of coverage we have. And in this case, the Journal of Wildlife Management is available on several different databases. So depending on what kind of coverage I need, I could go in and click on those databases, and I would know I would get the Journal of Wildlife Management in those databases. So again, the very first option on our new interface is to search by journal title. So again, if you have a journal that you're used to using, something that's been recommended, you can go ahead and type in your journal name there. Uh, looking back on the page, I could also put in keywords. Maybe I don't know the name of the journal. I just know a word or two that were in the journal. I can come in here and I can do a keyword search and it will retrieve journals. Let's go ahead and try that. We'll put in the word forestry. And again, this will search by keyword all of the journal titles we have that have the word forestry. 
And then again, I could look through that list and I could pick and choose which journals I would like to access electronically. Let's start over again. Again, from the Moon Library homepage, I'm looking for that eJournals tab. I'm going into the full text eJournal locator and it will open up a new page for me here. Make that a little bit bigger here. And again, the very first option is to search by journal title. You can also browse by your journals. So if you just want to look at the list alphabetically, I can click on a letter. We'll click on J, for example. And it will bring up a complete list of all the J's. There's over 2,000 journals we have that start with the letter J. And again, I would browse through this and find the journals I'm interested in. I'm going to go back to the eJournal page by using this link, eJournal Portal. The next option is to browse the eJournals by subject. So if I have a particular subject area that I'm searching, I can go ahead and use that drop-down menu and see how many journals we have in a particular subject. These are pretty broad subjects. Let's go ahead and take a look at the list of subject categories. So browsing e-journals by subject, I could pick, for example, Earth and Environmental Sciences and search. And it would retrieve for me all the journals that we have in the different subjects. So I would click on a subcategory and then it will give me the list of all of those journals. So let's go ahead and we'll pick one. How about ecology? And then again, I'm back to a list of journals. So let's go back to that e-journal page. Let's review again. At the top, if I know my journal name, I can type it in by title. If I don't know my journal name, I can type in a keyword or two and it will still bring me back some results based on my search. I could browse the journals alphabetically by clicking on a letter or I could browse the journals by subject area. So those are three great ways to get into the e-journals. Again, I can search by title, I can search by keyword, I can browse by title, or I can go ahead and browse by subject category. The other very powerful thing about our new interface is that this page allows you to search just SUNY ESF subscribe databases. So if there's a database that you're familiar with using, or again, one that's been recommended to you, you can come to this web page and look through the list of subscribe databases. And that's further down on the screen here. And it, it goes past one page here, and again, the list is growing. We're constantly updating this list. This is the current list as of September 2012. So again, I would browse through that list of databases, again, looking for the one I used to use, looking for one that was recommended to me, looking for one that matches the topic that I'm searching. So for example, right now on the SUNY ESF campus, Many students are doing some required reading on caribou, and so they need to find literature on caribou. So coming into this, I would look through my list of databases, and I would try to find one that relates to my keyword, caribou. And looking through the list, I see that there's one on wildlife. So let's go ahead and search so you can actually see what a database search looks like. I'm going to click on this one, Wildlife and Ecology Studies Worldwide. And it's going to take me to that database interface. It knows I'm from SUNY ESF, and I'm going to go ahead and type in caribou. I do my search, and it retrieves back my journal articles. Get you the big picture there. There we go. And so it brought back almost 3,000 results on that one keyword. So again, I'm browsing the database list. I'm finding the appropriate database by looking at the name and the description. Maybe it's one I've already used, or maybe it's a database that's been recommended to me. I go in and I type in my keyword or keywords, and I can look at the results. Now, the neat thing about this particular database that I'd just like to point out, this is by a company called EBSCO. They allow you to limit your search results by uh, full text and by peer-reviewed. So if you've been asked to search for just peer-reviewed journal articles, you can limit your search. So right now I have 3,000 search results, but I can change that and say, well, I just need scholarly peer-reviewed, and I can update that, and now I'm down to about 1,700. Maybe I'm in a bit of a pinch, and I really only need full text, because many of the databases contain information that's cite citations, abstracts, and sometimes full text. 
but maybe in some cases I just really need the full text right now. I can click on full text, update, and this will bring me peer-reviewed full text journal articles. And now it's down to about 400. So this is a great example of finding the right database, going in, putting in my keyword or keywords, and then narrowing down my search by qualifiers such as peer-reviewed and full text. So again, let's go back to the SUNY ESF uh, Moon Library homepage. We're just going to go back to the main page here. Again, from www.esf.edu slash moonlib. Right on the front page there, you'll see our link to eJournals. Click on the eJournal page. It will open up a separate page. Again, the top part is looking for specific eJournals. And the bottom part is searching for databases. Along with our SUNY ESF subscribe databases, we've provided links to some reliable open access uh, databases also. So um, open access journals that are from other universities or other consortiums where it's free and we know it's reliable scholarly information, we've gone ahead and provided links to those databases too. So this is a combination of SUNY ESF subscribe databases and open access databases. One more thing I want to point out on our new interface is way down at the bottom, there's three more options. You can go ahead and link to our library catalog so that maybe you need to look for the print, uh, a print version of a journal or maybe you couldn't find the e-version from this page. So maybe sometimes you have to go into the catalog to do that search for that print or e-version. We also have a link for interlibrary loan. So if you can't find what you're looking for in full text or you can't find it on campus, you can submit an interlibrary loan request for, to us uh, right from this page. And then we also have a link to uh, a new feature, which is the library FAQ page, and I will click on that to show you that link. Uh, this is a 24-7 FAQ uh, for Moon Library, so you can come in here, you can ask a question, maybe it was already answered and the answer will pop right up. Or you can contact us via text by calling us, tweeting us, or further down, there is the form for emailing us. Let's zoom in a little bit. So over on the side here, there's multiple ways that you can contact us. And this knowledge base of questions and answers is constantly growing. Uh, when we get questions and answers at the reference desk, we customarily input those in so that the next time someone asks that, it's already in the knowledge base of FAQs. So let's go back to our PowerPoint for a moment. So to summarize, SUNY ESF, starting in the fall of 2012, has a brand new interface for accessing SUNY ESF subscribed databases. The thing to remember is to visit our website www.esf.edu slash moonlib. You want to choose the eJournal tab and get started searching eJournals and databases. That's all for this segment. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.